JD Vance has made the extremely disgraceful decision to use his own time serving this country to discredit Tim Walls' time serving this country, accusing Tim Walls of stolen valor. So let's get into why that is complete bull. Tim Walls, as a Marine who served his country in uniform, when the United States Marine Corps, when the United States of America asked me to go to Iraq to serve my country, I did it. I did what they asked me to do, and I did it honorably, and I'm very proud of that service. When Tim Waltz was asked by his country to go to Iraq, you know what he did? He dropped out of the army and allowed his unit to go without him, a fact that he's been criticized for aggressively by a lot of the people that he served with. I think it's shameful to prepare your unit to go to Iraq, to make a promise that you're going to follow through, and then to drop out right before you actually have to go. I also think it's dishonest. Something, again, if you guys ever get an opportunity to ask Tim Waltz or Kamala Harris some questions, he made this interesting comment that the Kamala Harris campaign put out there, and I bet they were regret regretting they put it out there now, because he said that we, and he was making a point about gun control, he said we shouldn't allow weapons that I used in war to be on America's streets. Well, I wonder, Tim Waltz, when were you ever in war? When was this, what was this weapon that you carried into war, given that you abandoned your unit right before they went to Iraq, and he has not spent a day in a combat zone? What bothers me about Tim Waltz is the stolen valor garbage. Someone who truly cares about the time they spent in the service, they don't just bring it up every time they want to make a political attack at their opponent. And they don't bring it up like it's just another item on their resume. And they don't, they sure as hell don't use it to attack an opposing candidate who also served. When talking about this, we need to make sure to give respect to different positions um, and understand what they mean. So J.D. Vance, what we know about him, he did the minimum time you can do, essentially, as a correspondent uh, for the Marines. So a correspondent is someone who spends most of their time in an office. Um, they are still in areas that are very dangerous. J.D. Vance was overseas for, I think, six months in the war zone that he's touting here. Um, but using any of this as a political ploy is wild to me. Um, and turning it into a fight on who actually was at war, what guns did you use in war, is very weird, very strange, especially when Vance wasn't exactly front lines in a war zone. Um, but to be honest, him not being in that position is probably why he doesn't really respect um, the time he did serve very much. He did just see it as a resume builder. Tim Walls is someone who specialized in heavy artillery. He was positioned over his 24 years in Arkansas, Texas, the Arctic Circle, New Ulm, Minnesota, and elsewhere. Uh, he worked responding to floods, tornadoes, and was deployed overseas. 1989, he won the title of Nebraska Citizen Soldier of the Year. Um, he was deployed post 9-11 for half a year to Europe to support the Operation um, Enduring Fe Freedom. Um, and his decorations include the Army uh, Commendation Medal, and two army medal uh two army achievement medals walls attained the rank of command sergeant general which is a huge freaking deal um near the end of his service but retired as a master sergeant in 2005 for benefit purposes because he did not complete coursework at the u.s army sergeant's major academy um so tim walls did all of this while also being a great public school teacher while focusing on education while being a leader in his community working in these small communities um it's very true that J.D. Vance's entire life was funded by Silicon Valley billionaires. And when J.D. Vance talks about his service in this way, it's hard to not feel that he may have been one of those people, and it's pretty obvious he's very career-driven, but did he just go in for the minimum time to use his service so he can make arguments like this? On one hand, you have Tim Walls, who joined uh, the National Guard at 17, encouraged by his father, who served during the Korean War, and was able to go to college using his uh, GI Bill and he wanted his son to do the same. So Walls joined at 17, serves for 24 years, and during this time, he's also a teacher. He's also very involved in community. This is clearly someone who has been about public service forever from a very genuine place in small communities. And then you have J.D. Vance, who sprinted through every single aspect in his career, including his time uh, in the service, including his Silicon Valley connections, his time through political consulting, running for politics, being an author of law school, being a lawyer, all of that stuff was a sprint for J.D. Vance. And J.D. Vance is around 40, 41, or whatever age he is. I think he's early 40s. You look at that comparison of service and who really cares about serving other people. And now you have J.D. Vance attacking walls under this pretense. And I don't think many veterans would like the way he is attacking walls 
for little to no reason, making up conspiracy theories, saying that Walls has stolen Valor is an extremely huge accusation that someone who actually cares about their service, who is a vet, would not make of another person. Also, we have Donald Trump. We have many quotes from him. I don't really care about talking about Trump because we know he's a mess or whatever. But Trump does have the quote saying that his Vietnam, his personal Vietnam was having rampant sex and avoiding STDs was like avoiding bombs or whatever. That's literally a Donald Trump quote. Um, Trump has made fun of people like John McCain. We know that. Um, and in general, the whole push right now around Trump is saying Trump took a bullet for democracy. I even saw someone say that's actually in the Trump camp in the Trump campaign. They said Walls has stolen valor. Trump has more valor of uh, valor because Trump took a bullet for his country using that line of attack. It's insane. It's super weird. It's super radical. It's a uh, it's disgraceful. I don't know how else to explain it. J.D. Vance is a terrible politician. He gets handed softball questions. He can't even answer them. Tim Walls is someone who doesn't even have any stock. Tim Walls does not own any private ventures. He does not have any uh, even rental properties. Tim Walls, if you look at his record, is perfectly clean. All he has is pensions when it comes to um, what his different assets are. You can't find much on Tim Walls. You can disagree with, thi with things that Tim Walls has done, but they can find nothing. So they make up this conspiracy theory, which is probably one of the most disgraceful and openly disgusting ones they've had. Um, at least targeting someone like Walls, who is that stereotypical straight white guy, military service, football coach, public education, all of these things. Now they can't even hold themselves back from making conspiracy theories about their main demographic. Um, which is sort of what Walls <laughs> represents. So I don't know where we go from here, but this is something that needs to be called out. What I said before, it is pathetic. And those who are following this campaign, looking at this, saying, yeah, this is a good thing, you can lie as much as you want. You can make up any conspiracy theory in the world. You can edit any deep fake AI, whatever. You can spread stories on X and Facebook, Instagram. You can make up whatever you want. You have an endless supply of lies. But you cannot purchase, you cannot fake authenticity. And we have an example here of someone who stands in stark contrast to you. So whatever you want to do with your campaign, I just hope when you lose and it's all said and done, that you won't throw a fit and try to cause more violence and anger in this country. Because this is absolutely insane where this campaign's going. Donald Trump's nowhere to be seen. J.D. Vance is a walking suit. Like, he's not even a person at this point. And... Things are looking interesting.